All right, so now going back into the ventilator settings themselves, we're gonna use a Zoll EMV as a demonstrator. And what we wanna talk about is just the kind of different settings you can set your patient up on in assist control and how to get there using the Zoll EMV. So the place that I like to start at is, I like to start with my tidal volume. And tidal volume is represented by VT. We can see that right there. If I, bite, if I want to choose any of these topics, we've got several soft keys next to here. So obviously the given choice is right to the right here. So if I want to change my title volume, press my soft key, it highlights. There's only one selector knob, so I can go up and down, okay? If I want to do a title volume of 450, select 450, and then I have to confirm it with the green knob here. So you can see obviously that 450 is now selected. At that point, what I like to do is come down to my respiratory rate, okay? So soft key over to the right here, and I'm gonna set a respiratory rate of, let's just go to 14. I have to confirm that. So now we have decreased our tidal volume from 500 down to 450 and increased our respiratory rate from 12 to 14. Now with tidal volume, Andy, are we using just the patient's weight or are we using ideal body weight for these calculations? Good question. So when we use the uh, calculations to find out how much volume of air we want to deliver to our patient, we utilize a range of let's just say four cc's per kilogram all the way up to about eight cc's per kilogram of the patient's what Chris said ideal body weight an ideal body weight is something that we number one like to carry um, a good chart for okay this is why we have this attached to our ventilator right here this is for males now this other side we have for females it changes and we set our tidal volumes based upon four all the way up to eight cc's per kilogram of that patient's ideal body weight. 